Hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the iSteady Pro 2 gimbal by Hohem. Gimbals have come a long way and this is comparatively a newer technology. The prices have come down from thousands of dollars to hundreds of dollars and uh, this is the cheapest gimbal I can find uh, which was specifically made for action camera. So the gimbal you're looking at is uh, iSteady Pro 2. There are other types of gimbals which you can, you can buy. Some of them are for smartphones, some of them are for action camera and some of them are for uh, point and shoot cameras or sm uh, small mirrorless cameras. So I'll open this gimbal and I'll show you some uh, sample clips as well uh, and then I'll give you my non-affiliated unbiased and honest opinion whether this gimbal is worth the price or this is not a good product and this was purchased with my own money this is not paid uh, not a paid review or affiliated review there are no affiliated links so let's open up the box and then we'll take a look at it box looks like slightly damaged in the shipping but I don't think that's gonna affect the product inside so we'll start opening this from here so looks like we have a hardcover box inside and uh, the box right now is empty so the case is not bad at all it's very light and I open the case and then we have uh, instruction manuals here I'll set it aside and looks like uh, this is what we have in here so we have uh, the gimbal which is right here and then we have the tripod uh, which is right here and then we have just two pieces of uh, cables to help with the gimbal I'll set this aside here and the box is empty I have had a few days to try and test uh, the iSteady Pro 2 uh, gimbal and I'll uh, go through over some of the problems or difficulties I faced with this iSteady Pro 2 so I'm not going to like you know show you how uh, the switch works or all the button works because you can find this in any other video but what I'll tell you you'll not find this anywhere else so let's uh, look at it the some of the problems just that I faced using uh, this gimbal so the first thing I had uh, difficulty sometimes when you turn this on so for example uh, I'm going to turn this on right now okay so right now you can see that uh, the gimbal the camera is facing you uh, which is right here but from time to time the camera will just flip and then I have had a hard time you know uh, putting it back uh, in the right uh, way so once it gets flipped up or turn upside down then you know it's difficult to adjust it back to normal position so that's one of the problems i had the second difficulty i have had with this uh, gimbal is that if you uh, take a look at the gap right here so if you push the camera all the way up to here then you know you're not gonna able to turn it on and off because the turn on and off button is right here and it's going to be hidden here so what the way i solved it i you know i uh, pushed it all the way up to here and then uh, there's a gap in here which uh, let uh, lets me use the turn on and off button so that's a designing flaw because you know the camera should be positioned all the way up to here but if you do that then you know you cannot uh, you're not going to be able to use it uh, turn it on or off so that's uh, another flaw I believe uh, shouldn't be uh, this way and uh, the third flaw I noticed is that the app uh, the app works but it has lots of problems uh, for example when I was trying to do uh, motion time-lapse videos then uh, the app it's not that you know the app doesn't work but I have had a hard time uh, connecting the app uh, to the Bluetooth to turn on the motion uh, time-lapse and other settings because sometimes the app just doesn't work you know you have to just keep trying trying and then sometimes like you know you want to do things faster but it will slow you down uh, but at the end it works but uh, you know it's not an easy app to uh, use uh, and they should improve the app uh, so you know it's more user friendly and you don't have to just like you know keep trying and trying uh, sometimes even I had to restart my phone like you know a couple of times just to make the app work so that's another uh, difficult point I had with the gimbal. 
But except uh, these three, I have nothing else uh, to mention that you know I didn't like. Uh, overall, uh, it works. Uh, this is a very uh, like you know inexpensive gimbal, and I believe you're not gonna find any other gimbal at this price point. So I have no complaints about anything else. And uh, the three problems I mentioned, they are like you know you can work with them I have to just like you know use a few tricks or sometimes they're time consuming to like you know adjust it uh, and get over uh, those three difficult uh, points the gimbal uh, has so that's uh, what I made my take on this uh, in terms of like you know pricing and if this is a good value I would say definitely uh, I kind of right now hooked to uh, making a motion time-lapse uh, clips and I'm attaching a motion time-lapse uh, clips to uh, some of my videos and without this gimbal uh, this is not going to be possible to make motion time lapse because that's uh, one of the best features of this gimbal and I'm gonna have to say that you know that's uh, the most feature I'll be using uh, with this gimbal uh, the motion time lapse so I'm going to uh, show you some clips of uh, motion time lapse and uh, the gimbal uh, using the gimbal when I was on a bike and I was just like you know walking with the gimbal and you'll be able to see the uh, video quality and like you know the how uh, well it's performing but i would say that you know it definitely uh, makes a difference uh, adding uh, the camera's own image stabilization plus the gimbal's image stabilization and uh, so in terms of like you know, if you consider how much you're paying and what you're getting uh, so definitely uh, it's uh, worth uh, buying a gimbal if you are a content creator or if you just want to have some fun uh, again, this is not a paid or affiliated review. There is no affiliated links or anywhere. I purchased this with my own money. So let's uh, go back. Uh, let's move to the uh, video uh, examples uh, of, of this gimbal. So thank you for watching. Uh, forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. I'll see you shortly.